Hey, if you're looking to be entertained this weekend, we have an idea for you. Friday through Sunday, Coastal Youth Ballet will be holding their production of Sleeping Beauty. Get wow, excited for that, Alina. I love Sleeping Beauty. Well, I mean, that's one of my favorites, but. And to get a preview of what we can expect ahead of opening night this Friday. We turn now to Amanda yeah. Kenseth. She should be standing by live for us at the Youth Ballet's Dancing Studio in the Market Common this morning. Here she is. Yeah, take a look. The girls are warming up, going to show off some stuff and talk about this show. You guys put on a lot of productions. What mm -hmm. is Coastal Youth Ballet? Coastal Youth Ballet Theater is a non-profit performing company. It's the performing company of Coastal Dance Center, which is our training school, where we do train our kids to the uh, proper way to dance, the technical part of it, and then we work on artistry and get them to do performances and that's how and then also we offer our performances for the community this area is in need of the arts the the ballet sure. particularly absolutely so that's what we offer to the community yeah and so mm -hmm. people have a chance to come out and see sleeping beauty mm -hmm. it's our springtime production last year we did cinderella this time we're doing sleeping beauty we did it 2012 so that was four years ago so we're excited to bring it back to the community. Yeah, and a lot of work goes into these. A lot, a lot, lot of work. <laughs> so we have classes, we have rehearsals, we have to do production meetings, we have to, we have to do, uh, we have to talk about the the sets that we are going to have for the production. We have a very, very big boat that's going to be the, uh, in Act Two, and we have the carriage for Caribous, the evil fairy and people who are going to come to the show is going to see the fabulous sets that we have. Yeah, well, the fabulous mm -hmm. sets and fabulous dancing too, and we'll give you a sneak peek of that coming up in a little bit. Back to you. Sounds good. We look forward to that. You can catch showings of Sleeping Beauty this weekend. Opening night is Friday, April 15th at 7 o'clock in the evening, then additional showing Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. All shows will be held at the Beach Church Auditorium in Myrtle Beach. You can find event and ticket details at Coastal Youth Ballet Theater uh, one dot true that's T R U dash M dot com. Yeah. And if you're looking for something fun to do this weekend, we have a great idea for you. Friday through Sunday, the Coastal Youth Ballet will hold their production of Sleeping Beauty. And to get a preview of what we can expect, we turned our own Sleeping Beauty. Amanda Kinseth is live this morning. What's going on in the studio there? Yeah, we're giving you a sneak peek of the performance right here. I'm going to step out of the way and come over here and talk to Lisa. So describe what's happening right now. Well, this is when uh, Lilac Fairy is going to bring the prince to see Princess Aurora. And here's the evil fairy, Carabas, and she's going to stop the Lilac Fairy to come and get Princess Aurora to wake up from her sleep. And it's really neat to see how these uh, fairy tales come to life in the form of ballet. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're very much like the, the books or the movies that we see, but there's a little right. twist on them and, uh, you know, the, not, not talking, so all the emotion that you can see through mm -hmm the dancers right and that's something that you guys probably have to work on it, quite a bit uh, yeah quite a bit and we have to have you have to make sure these dancers are the more mature ones the senior ones in the company and we're fortunate that we have miss danielle now with us so she's the evil fairy she's the evil fairy caribous and people may recognize her because she's been a performer here at a long yes. beach mm -hmm. uh, well, people can come out and see this, and uh, do do kids enjoy coming to the show? Oh yes, as well. Yes, I mean, because yes. It's sleeping beauty. They're entranced. Right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> we've had we we actually had a tea party with all these characters, and my gosh, there we had so many children. This was packed. Oh, I love it. Yes, and I, I love the word that you use, entranced too, because the <laughs> yes. kids. I mean, they do. It's like, mm -hmm. Wow, look at yes. that. Yes, yes. You, you can come check it out. Back to you. Now watch out for that evil fairy there, Amanda. You can catch showings of Sleeping Beauty this weekend, opening night again, Friday, April the 15th at 7 p.m. Then additional showings for you on Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. All shows will be held at the Beach Church Auditorium in Myrtle Beach. You can find event and ticket details at the website that we have placed for you there on the screen.
Hey, if you're looking to be uh, cultured and entertained mm -hmm. this weekend, Friday through Sunday, you can catch the Coastal Youth Ballet. They'll be performing Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, and to get a preview of what we can expect ahead of opening night this Friday. Here's Amanda Kenseth uh, live this morning at the Youth Ballet's Dancing Studio in the Market Common. Probably learning some ballet moves, right, Amanda? <laughs> well, yeah, we've done some pirouettes and, you know, some, some dancing this morning. We already gave you a sneak peek of some of the stuff that you'll see in the show. And we talked about emotions mm -hmm. shown through dance because there's not talking, so there's emotions. So mm -hmm. ballerinas are kind of like mimes, right? Mm -hmm. and talk a little bit about that and how you guys work on this. Um... So we don't talk when we dance in ballet. So the next possible way to communicate is through gestures, facial emotions, movement of the hands, the movement of the body, so upper body. So we're, we have to like show when we talk in ballet, we, like let's say for example, when you say beautiful, how do we say beautiful? We make a circle around the face and right there. And then when we say, uh, please come or, or beg, beg, please come to our show. <laughs> please come to our show. Yes. And then we'll be um, angry if you yes, don't. Angry, right? angry, angry is what? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, and uh, calm is you go. Put your arm here and go across the body and so show that. So let's do that. Please come to our show <laughs> <laughs> or we'll be angry <laughs> <laughs> yes. if you don't come. <laughs> it is amazing though how all of that stuff, I mean people just mm -hmm. automatically know what you're trying to say. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, so let's, uh, let's throw something out there. How about uh, fear? Fear. <laughs> yes. And there. now just do something and I'll try to guess what it is. I can do my mime. Yes, okay. you can do your mime. Listen. Listen. To what I'm going to say. To what I'm going to say. Very nice. She will prick her finger. <laughs> oh, she's going to prick her finger. Yes. Spoiler alert, that's what happens in Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> but please come see the show, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a little mine of my own. <laughs> to us. Yes, beautiful. We've been practicing too, yeah. right? Please, please watch, watch GMA or GMC. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. You can get showings of Sleeping Beauty this weekend, opening night again, Friday, April the 15th at 7 p.m. Then additional showings will happen on Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. All shows will be held at the Beach Church Auditorium in Myrtle Beach. You can find event and ticket details at Coastal Youth Ballet Theater 1.true. That's T R U M.com. Now to check back in with Amanda Kenseth. She has been live all morning for us this morning with the Coastal Youth Ballet, giving us a sneak preview of their big performance coming up this weekend, right? That's right, a great performance. We're going to give you a sneak peek this morning and uh, let them start dancing. And I'm with Lisa and uh, one of the teachers, also a performer, the evil fairy. And uh, you've been a performer all over the country. How is it to dance with these guys? It's an amazing experience. Just their talent and the passion that they have for ballet and dance for me, just to be around that is is just a wonderful experience for me. Um, you know, just performing all over and dancing with so many different people and, and having the privilege to do that, I'm excited to be able to do that here with Coastal Dance Center as well. It's definitely a highlight of my career to be able to do that. Yeah, well, and you guys all do an amazing job. Lisa, what's it like to see this all come to fruition, you know, after all this hard work? It's, for me, it fills my heart because this is what I love and I, it's, it's a passion for me. So to see everybody, in, the people who are involved in this one, it's amazing that we have these families who are helping and the community helping out with putting this production. And hopefully we will have more support from the community. We would like to have the community be involved in what we do. Yep. Yes, so 
we, we really want everybody to come and see the show and see what it is that really makes Coastal Youth Ballet Theater the company that it is now in the area. Right, and it's a nonprofit, and so the money you know raised from this event goes back into it, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Exactly. Well, they do a phenomenal job, and a, a lot of these girls probably want to, you know, do this as a future career, kind mm -hmm. of like what you've done with your career. Mm -hmm. I think so. A lot of these dancers are aspiring to, to go pro and be professional ballet dancers, and they know to do that takes not only skill and talent, but it takes a lot of heart. You really, you really need that technical training, but you also really need to want it more than anything else, and, and a lot of them do, and a lot of them will move on to be professional ballet dancers because they have an amazing teacher, Miss Lisa, and because she makes sure that they are that good. Absolutely. Well, that's great advice for everything. Pull, pull your whole heart into everything that you do. Mm -hmm. Back to you. Thank you so much, Amanda. Be sure to catch opening night of Sleeping Beauty. It is happening April 15th at 7 p.m. Additional showings will be Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. All shows will be held at the Beach Church Auditorium in Myrtle Beach. You can find event and ticket info at that website that you see there on your screen.